Today I am bringing you another bag review. Hey y'all, welcome to day 22 of Vlogmas. I cannot believe that this is almost over. I am super, super, super excited. Today, I am bringing you another bag review. Honey, I have had the Brahmin, large Duxbury satchel, and toasted almond um, in my possession. It would be five years in August 2022. This bag has been amazing to me but there was some conflict with this bag i'll link that up here in the cards child we had a whole fiasco with this bag but nevertheless it has served me well this bag comes actually my bag it was a birthday bag for me um like i said this coming august 2022 will be five years with this bag so i've had this bag four and a half years this bag was something that i saw that i wanted that i fell in love with immediately a lot of people don't consider brahmin luxury but to me um the quality and the craftsmanship of brahmin makes it a luxury bag to me something doesn't have to cost a lot for it to be luxury in my opinion. If it brings you joy, definitely it's a luxury item. Luxury, your peace, self-care, that's luxury. Those are things that you indulge in and things that you love. So Brahmin is definitely one of those brands that I consider a luxury brand because it brings me joy. And I definitely am here for the experience with Brahmin. This is not my only Brahmin bag. I also have a Brahmin crossbody in pecan. Um, the Brahmin Sunny. Anyway, back to this bag. This bag came from Dillard's because my bag, Toasted Almond, was exclusive only to Brahmin and to Dillard's. This purse came this way with this dust bag inside. Um, of course, it was packaged up plastic and, you know, boarding and everything to have the semblance of being brand new. Very good drawstring bag. It's not, um, it's made of cloth. It's definitely not shabby and it is very, very good for the price that you pay for the bag itself. Um, I'm going to pull out my bag. And again, remember that my bag is four and a half years old and I do need to send it in for a repair um, because this bag, I carried this bag, honey. When I tell you I carried this bag, I carried this bag. So this is my Brahmin. <laughs> Large Duxbury satchel in pecan. Now this was, I mean, I'm sorry, in toasted almond. This was the beginning of Italian leathers for me. Um, I didn't, this is actually the signature croc boss leather, but they do use Italian leathers to create this look. Um, it's a warm tan uh, colorway. It is genuine leather. Uh, this bag has survived the rain, the wind, the storm, the snow, honey, the hail, storm, tornadoes, hurricanes, all that. I mean, I ain't been in all that. But it survived all of that and then some. This bag is a work horse. Now, let me tell you about Brahmin. If you don't know anything about the eye, most people love for their Brahmin eye, the eye, crocodile eye, to be in the center of their bag or somewhere close up front. I didn't have a preference for that. Um, and I technically don't like alligator and snake prints, but this bag and the pecan one drew me in. The texture and how rich this bag is. And it was totally, totally different. It was, at first, it was like my church bag. And... <sighs> It became an everyday bag because I love this thing. So anyway, my husband got this for me for my birthday. And this bag does come with a Brahmin medallion. There are zero scratches on this medallion. It does come attached like most handbag medallions um, over the years. The other side, there is a smudge. It's not a scratch, but it's a smudge on it that I'm able to rub out. But... It, had, it says Brahmin and it says established in Ireland in 
1982. Um, and it does have the sailboat there. Um, if you don't know anything about Brahmin, it, their brand is based in, I think it's in Massachusetts. So, well, that's where the warehouse is based. And we'll just have to do a fashion history on Brahmin. We're not going to do that in this video. The leather is amazing. I'm going to take this tassel off because this tassel was not a part of the bag. This was actually a gift from my oldest son and uh, during the same time. And it's in pecan, of course, and it has my initials engraved on them. I thought that was a really, really nice touch um, for that. This bag, I do not have any loose threads. I do not have, well... I don't have any loose threads that are poking out. I'll say that. This bag does come with feet. And Mrs. Q is the reason why I became a Brahmin fanatic, a Brahminista. <laughs> honey, she used to do her little um, song for Dillard's. Honey, it was her favorite shopping store. And oh, how she loved Dillard's. Baby, Miss Q sucked me in. This bag does have feet. There is that eye on the bottom that we talked about with Brahmin. It's a whole thing, child, an entire thing. Um, again, when we get into Fashion History 101, I'll talk about that a little more when we get ready to discuss them. This is the hardware here. Um, this hardware, let's go here first. The bag dimensions are 14.2 inches in width 12.2 inches in height and 5 inches in depth it weighs 2.5 pounds and the style number is k4913100005 and this is on the brahmin website where you can find this right now this bag is currently out of stock but you can Add this bag in this color to um, an email list and Ramen will let you know. Ramen will let you know when this bag is available. So there is a 13 inch strap drop. I had the hardest time, child, figuring out this double strap. <laughs> because there are holes in the strap that kind of connect to both sides. So I had a field day trying to figure this out. But I did. So <laughs> this strap definitely goes a lot longer than what you see or shorter than what you see here. There is a four inch handle drop from here to here. Um, it has, again, feet on the bottom. There is a back slide pocket, which is big enough to place your phone, pretty much any phone. I have the iPhone 12 and I'm going to slide that right back here. It slides in without my case on it, without an issue. And with the case, it's not a problem. That bag, uh, pocket does not stretch out. That pocket, this pocket does not stretch out. This pocket is made just for the cell phone pocket, for your cell phone. The pocket is kind of deep. I, child, I got something in there. A receipt, child. It looked like Target. Lord have mercy. Um, <laughs> the disc is, you see my hand moving down here? That is how deep that pocket is. So that pocket pretty much goes down three quarters of the way for the bag, which pretty much fits any size phone. Um, the cross, the strap is removable and it does have a lobster claw. So you do not have to have the strap. Uh, you can remove the strap and uh, it does not stay connected to the bag. It's not burden burden some to the bag and it can be removed which we are about to do now there are double handles of course and it has a large zip top dome here now if you know anything about italian leathers and their zippers you know that the more you put in it the more warped the zippers will be um i had an issue with that and i did not know that the more things you put in here, the more warped the zipper will be. So I had some issues with that as well. But um, she's a good bag. She's a great bag. My only concern right now at this time is inside here. 
when the handles connect. I mentioned this a while back that I need to send this off. Brahmin has agreed to uh, fix this for me and I just need to actually send it off because I do not want my handles to detach. I mean, there's gonna it's gonna be a minute if anything happens, but I don't wanna load this bag up or put my things up in this bag and then one of the sides detach because right here, let me turn it this way, because right here you can actually see the thread there. So let me speed through, honey, because my camera is blinking. We're going to open up the zip top satchel and we're going to take out all of the air paper. And inside of this bag, it is this microfiber lining, which was my very first microfiber lining bag. And it has a key keeper on the inside that is attached to one of the slip pockets on the front wall. There are two slip pockets here. And there are also, there is also <laughs> a pin loop or two that you can, two pin lips, two pin loops that you can place ink pens in. Um, but most of us know that we don't put pins in the pin loops because they have the possibility of running our bags. So on the back wall is a full zipper pocket here that you can put your hand down the length of the inside of the bag comes all the way down to the bottom of the bag here and it is very 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 functional very very much of course the toasted almond leather is trimmed on these pockets and also on the zipper pull as well as the key keeper and the pin loops there the zipper um it's a full length zipper. It does have Brahmin on the zipper. It doesn't say YKK or anything like that. This is a gold zipper. I have a few scratches on that zipper, but I think it's because of use. Um, the hardware is holding up very, very well. It is not tarnished. Now my zipper seems to be a little tarnished here. Not the actual pull, but the zipper part itself and a little bit of the uh, body of the zipper seems to be a little tarnished, but that doesn't bother me either way. Um, this bag is amazing. Do I recommend this bag? Of course I do. This bag costs, this is the large, not the medium. The large Duxbury satchel costs $295 on Brahmin.com. Again, if you use Rakuten, you can get 3.5% cash back on this bag right now. But remember, this bag is out of stock. There, They also have other colors. They have pecan. They have... Um, uh, oh, all the different Melbourne, uh, beautiful, beautiful colors that this bag comes in. Um, Dillard's, if you want toasted almond, you can try Dillard's. Again, this color is exclusive to Brahmin and to Dillard's only. You cannot go to Belk, you cannot go to Macy's, you can't go anywhere, Nordstrom, nobody, and find this color. It is exclusive to Dillard's and to Brahmin only. Um, the pecan is gorgeous. The black is is gorgeous the reds are any brahmin bag in any color they are gorgeous 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 big enough to carry your ipad as well as your favorite essentials um, big enough to carry a planner and your favorite essentials in this bag as well so this is what i have again the tassel did not come in included but this bag does come with the removable crossbody strap this is my brahmin large duxbury satchel and toasted almond that i recommend that i give a 10 across the board it was my introduction into luxury <laughs> into the wonderful world of luxury and I can't wait to acquire even more Brahmin pieces to my collection. Let me know down in the description box, do you have a Brahmin bag? How do you feel about Brahmin? How do you feel about luxury? Let's talk about it child. Let's get it out in the open and let's do what it do honey. We ain't got nothing but time. If you are not subscribed to the blog, I encourage you to subscribe www.simplynisi.com and also, if you're not a part of the family, honey, go ahead down there and click the red subscribe button. Turn your notification bells on to all so that you're in the VIP for when these next videos drop. When you connect to the blog, go ahead and enter your email address so that you can be in the know. I promise you there will not be any spam when there are new post notifications and monthly newsletters. I can't wait to share what's in store for you guys. Happy, happy Vlogmas, and I will see you guys on tomorrow. <laughs>